A very good morning to all. Today we are moving on to a new topic in Max which is about horizontal and vertical addition. So in the last class we started with addition and we learnt what is addition. Adding two numbers together or bringing two numbers together to get a new total. And then we learnt about adding numbers on a number strip. And today we are going to see how we can add numbers horizontally and vertically. So let's see first the horizontal addition. What is horizontal addition? We can add numbers horizontally like we can write numbers side by side and then we can add. For that we can draw lines to show each number and then we can add. So see an example here. 4 plus 3. It is written horizontally, that is side by side. And on each number, you can draw lines. So see number 4. So for number 4, you can draw 4 lines. Then add 3. So you can draw 3 lines. So 4 plus 3 gives you 7 if you count the number of lines. So in 4, how many lines are there? 4 lines, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 3. You add 3 lines, 1, 2, 3, and it gives you a total of 7. So this is how we can add 2 numbers horizontally. Let's do some more example to make it more clear. So let's take number 5 plus 1. So it is written horizontally. So number 5. So number 5, how many lines do we need to draw? 5 lines. So I have drawn here 5. So let's check it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 lines are there. Plus you have to add 1 to the number. So we have learned that when you add 1 to a number, you will get the next number. That the number just after that. So after 5, which number comes? Number 6. So for 1, how many lines do we need to draw? Just one line. So 5 plus 1, it gives you 6. So let's see one more example. 3 plus 2, it is written horizontally. So let's draw lines. For number 3, how many lines do we need to draw? 3 lines. 1, 2, 3. Plus, you have to add 2 to number 3. So how many lines do we need to draw for number 2? Two lines. So what is 3 plus 2? 3, 4, 5. It gives you a total of number 5. So in horizontal addition, you write numbers horizontally. That is, you write numbers side by side. And then you add the numbers together. Now let's see vertical addition. So what is vertical addition? That is, writing numbers vertically. What is vertically? Writing numbers one below the other. See the numbers 4, below 4 it is 3. So this is how you do vertical addition. Writing numbers below the number and then you add. For this also you can draw lines. So see 4 plus 3 it is written vertically. So for number 4 how many lines do we need to draw? 4 lines plus 3. So how many lines do we need to draw for 3? Three? 3 lines. So total how many are there? 4, 5, 6, 7. So it gives you a total of 7. So the answer is 7. Let's see some more examples in vertical addition. So let's take number 5 plus 1. So it is written vertically. So 5. How many lines do we need to draw for 5? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you have to add 1 to the number. So how many lines do we need to draw? 1. So total how many are there? 5 plus 1, 6. See the next one. 2 plus 3. So how many lines do we need to draw for number 2? Two? 2 lines. 1, 2. Then you have to add 3 to number 2. So how many lines do we need to draw? 3. So total it is 5. 
So when you add two numbers, whether in a horizontal addition, whether you add horizontally or vertically, you will get the same answer. That is when you add two numbers, horizontally or vertically, you will get the same answer. Now we can take page number 38 in your textbook. Here we have some exercise. So see the first one. Vertical addition. You have to add numbers vertically. See the first example is given. So let's move on to the second one. So what is the number here? 2 plus 3. So the number is 2 plus 3. So you can add vertically by drawing sticks. So you can draw sticks to each number and then you can add. So the number is 2 plus 3. So for 2, how many sticks do we need to draw? Two sticks, right? So let's draw two sticks here. Then you have to add three to two. So how many sticks do we need to draw? Three sticks. So one, two, three. So count the number of sticks. Three, four, five. So the total number of sticks is five. So let's write number five. So what is two plus three? 2 plus 3 is 5. So let's see the next one. The number 4 plus 3. So how many lines, how many sticks do we need to draw? For number 4, 4 sticks. So we have to draw 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have, we have to add 3 to number 4. So how many sticks do we need to draw? 3. So 1, 2, 3. So what is 4 plus 3? 4, 5, 6, 7. It gives you a total of 7. So the answer is 7. So let's see the next one. See, 5 plus 2. So first one, draw the number of sticks for number 5. How many sticks do we need to draw? 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you have to add 2 to number 5. So how many sticks do we need to draw? 2. 1, 2. So what is the total? 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 7. Can you do the next two? Then we will discuss the answer. Have to see the number, draw the sticks, then you have to add them together, then you get a total. What is the answer? 3 plus 6. So how many sticks do we need to draw? 3. 1, 2, 3. Then you have to draw, you have to add 6 to 3. So how many sticks do we need to draw? 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what is the answer? What is the total number? 6, 7, 8, 9. So total is 9. So there are total 9 sticks. That is 3 plus 6 is 9. What about the next one? What is the answer for the next one? 7 plus 2. So 7 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 2. 1, 2. So what is the total? The total is 9. So you got the answer 9. 9 is the right answer. Moving on to the next one. Here you can see numbers. Numbers on a ticket. Then you can see a popcorn packet, popcorn pack with numbers. So what you have to do is, when you add two numbers, you get a total on the popcorn pack. So one example is given. Let's see that example. So what is the number on the popcorn pack? Number 6. So you have to see which all numbers you add together, you get a total of 6. So 4 and 2. When you add 4 plus 2 in a number strip, starting from number 4, you hope 2 times, 4 to 5, 1, 5 to 6, 2, and you reach at number 6. That is, 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 2 gives you a total of 6. So, 4 plus 2 is 6. So that you can color these two tickets blue. Likewise, you have to find the answers for the Next questions. So see the next one. What is the number on the popcorn pack? 
The number is 8. So from the ticket, you have to see which all numbers we add, we get a total of 8. So let's see. Let's take 9 and 2. When you add 9 plus 2, starting from the number line from 9, you move 2 times. Jump 2 times. 9 to 10, 1. 10 to 11, 2. So you have reached at 11. But we should get an answer of 8. That is not the number. So let's take 6 and 2. 6 plus 2. Again, starting from the number strip, you are standing on number 6. From number, from number 6, you have to hope how many times? You have to hope 2 times. So 6, 6 to 7, 1 time. 7 to 8, 2 times. So you have reached at which number? Number 8. So 6 and 2 gives you a total of 8. So 8 is there in the popcorn pack. So you can tick 6 and 2 with blue color. The next number on the popcorn pack is 7. So what you have to do? You have to find two numbers which gives you a total of 7. Which all numbers gives you a total of 7? If you add 9 plus 1, it gives you a total of 7? No. 9 plus 1 is 10. What is the number just after 9? It is 10. So let's look for another number. Let's take 4 and 3. What is 4 plus 3? 4 to 5, 1. 5 to 6, 2. 6 to 7, 3. So you have reached at number 7. So 4 plus 3 gives you a total of 7. So you can color the two tickets blue. What about the next one? This one you can find it. You should get a total of 9. And you have to see which all numbers you add to get a total of 9. So which all numbers you add to get a total of 9? 5 and 4. 5 plus 4, it gives you a total of 9. Moving on to the next page, page number 39 in your textbook. Now we are going to see horizontal addition. We learned what is horizontal addition. Adding two numbers horizontally, that is side by side. Let's see the second question. 3 plus 4. So it is written horizontally. So what you have to do first? First we have to draw sticks to each number and then we can add. So what is the first number? Number 3. So how many sticks? 3. 1, 2, 3. Plus, which number? 4. So how many sticks? 4 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 gives you a total of, when you count these sticks together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It gives you a total of 7. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Moving on to the next one. 5 plus 3. So how many sticks do we need to draw for number 5? 5. So everyone draw 5 sticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you have to add 3 to number 5. So how many sticks? 3. 1, 2, 3. So what is the total? How many sticks are there total? 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay. Next one, 3 plus 6. So draw the number of sticks and add the numbers together. So what is the answer? 3 sticks, 1, 2, 3. Then 6 sticks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it gives you a total of 9. So 3 plus 6 is 9. Next one, we'll add using number tree. We learned addition using number strip. Now let's see adding numbers using a number tray. So you can see the numbers here. So let's see the first one. Add 3 and 4 with the help of a number tray. So the number is 3 and 4. 3 plus 4. So everyone keep your finger on number 3. Okay, then from number 3 you have to move how many times? You have to move four steps forward. So everyone keep your finger on number three. And from number three, we are going to move four steps forward. Okay. 
3, 3 to 4, 1, 4 to 5, 2, 5 to 6, 3, 6 to 7, 4. So we have reached at which number? We have reached at number 7. From 3, from 3 we moved 4 times and we reached at number 7. So 3 plus 4 is 7. The answer is 7. So did you reach at 7? Yes. So the answer is yes. Let's do an exercise. So see the first number 3 plus 2. So we have the number train here. What do you have to do first? Keep your finger on number 3. And from, from number 3 how many steps you need to move? 2 steps. So let's move 2 steps. 3 to 4, 1. 4 to 5, 2. So we have moved 2 steps. And we reached that number 5. So the answer is 5. Done. What about the second one? What is the question? 4 plus 1. It is very simple. We learned that when you add number, any number to 1, you will get the next number. 4 plus 1 is 5. And in a number tree, keep your finger on number 4, then move 1 step forward. 4 to 5, then you reach at number 5. Okay. Can you do the next one? What is the question? 5 plus 2. So first what you have to do? You have to keep your finger on which number? Number 5. Then what you have to do? You have to move 2 times. 5 to 6, 1. 6 to 7, 2. So we have reached at which number? 7. So the answer you get is 7. Do the next one. 6 plus 2. What you have to do first? Keep your finger on number 6. Then how many times you have to move? Two times. So what is the answer you get? Eight. Then what about the next one? The first number? Two. You have to add two plus seven. You have to keep your finger on which number? Number two. Then how many times you have to move? Seven times. You have to move two to three, three to four. Like that you have to move seven times. Then, then did you reach at which number? You reached at number 9. So the answer you get is 9. See the next one. 1 plus 8. So you have to keep your finger on which number? Number 1. And from number 1, how many steps you need to move? You have to move 8 steps. 1 to 2, 1 time. 2 to 3, 2 times. Like that, you have to move 8 steps. Then you reach at number 9. Or simply we can write 8 plus 1. We learned that when you add 1 to any number, you will get the next number. So eight, 1 plus 8 is 9. So the answer you get is 9. So this is how we can add two numbers in a number tray. So hope you have understood vertical addition, horizontal addition. How we can add two numbers vertically that is one below the other and how we can add two numbers horizontally that is side by side and how we can add numbers on a number tree. So we'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, thank you.